My fellow car enthusiasts, welcome back to the channel. I am Alex the Car Guy and I review cool car gadgets and other accessories for your vehicle. So if those are the kind of videos you like, make sure you subscribe by hitting the button down below to see more videos like this. And on this video, I'm gonna show you how I upgrade the headlights on this car from halogen to full LED. And I'm gonna do that with a set of C-Light S1 series light bulbs and a set of 4W King LED light bulbs. Now I have previously reviewed both of these light bulbs so if you guys want to see the full review for each including a comparison of how these things look against halogen I'll put a link in the description down below to those videos if you want to check them out. On this video I'm going to show you the installation and I'm going to take it out on the road so you can see the difference of the upgrade from halogen to LED lights. But before we get started I'd like to remind you that I have placed a link in the description down below to both of these light bulb sets in case you want to look at them further or acquire a Set for yourself. And I'll begin by removing these two body clips. I like to use this removal retainer tool, but a flat screwdriver would also do the trick. Once the head is out, I just pull by hand and the clip comes out. Then I repeat the process on the other side. And you can see that the headlight is held by two white clips. One of them is hidden underneath this cover. And pulling on these clips up releases the clip, which I can then remove and put out of the way. Same thing with the other one, I'm gonna pull up and then out. Now the headlight can be pulled out. Now I'm gonna pull it a little, just enough to reach this connector in the back, which I'm gonna unplug. Technically, this could be done without unplugging this connector, but disconnecting the connector allows me to take the headlight out completely, giving me a lot of access to upgrade the headlight bulbs. And here you can see the low beam and high beam location. They are concealed underneath dust covers. I'm just gonna pull the dust cover right off. Now I can turn the light bulb and slide it out. Now there's a clip right here and I like to use either my fingernail or a little screwdriver to be able to release this. I'm doing this very gently to avoid breaking that clip. Sometimes the plastic can become brittle over time so I like to be very gentle with these light bulbs. Here again is the clip, I'm gonna raise it just enough and then it pops out. Now for the new light bulb, you'll notice that there's a positive and a negative sign. I'm gonna match that with the positive and the negative. Negative being black and positive being red. I'm gonna push that until it locks. Then I can insert the new LED light bulb, make sure it lines up and seats and turn to lock. Same thing with the other side, I'm gonna match positive and negative. Negative is gonna go to black, positive is gonna be the yellow and I'm gonna fully insert this until it clicks. Then I can slide the LED light bulb into its location, making sure it bottoms out and turn to lock. Now I can reinstall the dust covers both for the high beam and low beam. Then I can reconnect the connector and locate the headlight back into its original position. You'll also notice that there's a gasket on the side. I like to leave this out and I just do that with my finger. Once this headlight is fully seated, I can reinstall the clips and this again locks by pushing down and making sure it's fully aligned, then it will lock in place. And the passenger side is a repeat of the driver's side. I'm gonna remove both of the clips and that releases the headlight. Then I'm gonna reach behind the headlight and unplug this connector right here, giving me access to the rear of the headlight. I'm gonna take both of these dust covers off and now I can remove the light bulb. I'm gonna turn it counterclockwise and carefully unclick the connector. Same thing for the high beam. I'm gonna turn it counterclockwise, pull the light bulb out, and then disconnect the connector. Now I can connect the new LED headlights, making sure that the red goes to positive and black goes to negative. Same thing for the high beams. Black is gonna go to negative and the yellow is gonna go to positive. Then I'm gonna slide it and make sure that this thing locks in place and finally put the dust covers back in place. Now I can reconnect this connector and reinstall the headlight back into its original location and finally put the white clips back into its place making sure they fully lock by pushing down on them. Then I'm gonna reinstall the original retainer clips which I removed in the beginning. But now let's take a look at a before and after.
and look how awesome the Impala looks with the LED headlight upgrade. And I really think, especially on older cars that have halogen, LED lights really brings a lot of life to the car because they no longer have that yellow old look. You get this beautiful white color. So remember guys, I put a link in the description down below to the LED kits and links to the video reviews for the different LED kit brands that I have tested. So you guys can decide which one looks better to you. And if you guys have any other questions regarding the installation of this kit, please put that in the comments down below and stay tuned as I have our more LED headlight reviews coming up. Thank you guys for watching and as always, I'll see you on the next one.